During his life, Louis Prima was noted to significantly consume alcohol and smoke. In 1973, Louis Prima suffered a heart attack, which he survived. About two years later, in the spring of 1975, Prima began suffering from debilitating headaches and memory loss, prompting medical scrutiny from doctors. A benign tumor was subsequently discovered to be present on his brain stem. A radical surgery to remove the tumor was determined to be risky, though if left untreated, it could have very likely resulted in worsening headaches and the onset of seizures. Aware of the risks involved with his prognosis, Prima opted for the surgery on his brain. His surgery took place at Mount Sinai Hospital in Los Angeles, California. The surgery was performed by Dr. Henry Cuneo, the same physician who performed the brain surgery on Robert Kennedy after he was shot in an assassination attempt in 1968. During the surgery, a portion of Prima's brain suffered damage, resulting in Prima being left in a coma where he was conscious but almost completely unresponsive. This type of coma is dubbed a waking coma. According to his wife Gia Maioni, Prima had his eyes open, and he could hear and see and understand, but he couldn't respond back. He was shut off from any response whatsoever. Prima would receive nutrition and sustenance through a tube that entered his body through his abdomen. As Louis Prima's comatose state persisted without any successful medical intervention efforts from doctors in Los Angeles, it was suggested by Mayon's friends in Louisiana that Prima be transported to his hometown of New Orleans. On February 12, 1976, Prima was transported by an ambulance plane to Louisiana. This same day was the 13th anniversary of Prima and Mayoni. He was hospitalized at Oshner Medical Center in New Orleans, where doctors continued to struggle to bring Prima out of his coma. Mayoni stated that Prima had spoken on three occasions during his stay at Oshner. Six months before his death, Prima had closed his eyes permanently. Mayoni would then sell the couple's residence in Las Vegas and move to Louisiana. She would hold a vigil for Prima prior to his death. On August 24, 1978, Prima succumbed to pneumonia at Turo Infirmary in New Orleans, dying at the age of 67. Louis Prima was interred into Section 88 of Mater Cemetery in New Orleans. Prima's epitaph states, A legend when end comes, I'll know they'll say, just a gigolo, as life goes on without me, lovingly, your living family Gia, Lena Ann, and Louis Jr. After his death, a 15-year legal dispute began among Prima's heirs regarding his financial will. The dispute was eventually settled in 1993, with Myoni dividing the assets equally between Prima's heirs. Prima remained a prominent figure in the Italian-American community for decades after his death, with his music being used for various gatherings and events in the community. Joe Massilli, who founded a federation that supervised 31 Italian-American organizations, stated, he's an icon in the music world for us, like Sinatra and Perry Como and Tony Bennett.